Well, the awards have been flowing thick and fast here at Clubman Angle tonight, both on the track and off. Of course, on the track, we had four Group 1 events, and off the track, the New South Wales Standard Bread Owners Association had their awards night. I'm joined by their Vice President, Mr Daniel Cordina. Well, Daniel, it's been a wonderful night of racing here at Club Menangle under the APG banner, the Gold Bullion for Group 1 titles, but also Albion Park. So, uh, congratulations to you for picking up a Group 1 Aurora Joy, just adding to the wonderful night Bernie Hewitt's had two trophies here, one at Albion Park. That's right. Uh, yeah, she, we bought uh, her last year in the, at the APG sale, and, um, aiming for, the, for these races, and uh, it, it, it worked out beautifully. So. Well, congratulations on that score, Daniel. But as I said in the intro, there's been a lot of trophies handed out on the track, but there's also been the awards night for the New South Wales Standard Red Owners Association. Vice President is your very kind self, so you've got a list of all the winners. Yes, Mike. Uh, look, on behalf of the New South Wales Owners Association, I can announce that um, we have two, three, four-year-old uh, aged aged horses with uh, different trophies. Uh, the two-year-old filly of the year was Flare Up, owned by Nicole Elder. Uh, the two-year-old Colt and Gelding of the year was St. Verin, owned by Greg Taggart. Uh, the three-year-old filly of the year was Heavenly Holly, owned by Alan Ross and, and Partners. Uh, Tushin Raider won the three-year-old Colts and Geldings, uh, owned by Peter Gatsby and his team. Uh, the four-year-old mare was owned by uh, Rick Burnett, which was Urock Skinny Jeans. Uh, Four-year-old Gelding of the Year was Bundoran, owned by Jenny Turnbull. Uh, the Aged Mayor of the Year was Stunning Nun, owned by Billy Mitchell down at Albury. Uh, the Aged Gelding of the Year was Old Luke, owned by Jenny Turnbull. Uh, the Trotting Female of the, of the Year was Funky Monkey, owned by John Green. Uh, the trotting male of the year was Sunny G, owned by Kerry Cummins, and the trotting owner of the year was um, John Green, and the New South Wales Standard Red Owner of the Year was Jenny Turnbull from Sandy Lodge. Well, a wonderful listen. Congratulations to all those particular people you've just mentioned. A uh, job well done yeah. as far as the Owners Association is concerned. It's been a wonderful night. Yeah, it has been. Uh, like Jenny Turnbull's picked up four four awards tonight and uh, richly deserved the owner of the year uh, with all her horses that she's got owned around the state and uh, yeah you know it was richly deserved you know good competition amongst them but uh, yeah no she was uh, it was a good night. That must be pleasing to the fact that there has been a very good roll-up. Yeah it was a very good roll-up very good roll-up uh, and were, everyone was all hanging around waiting for our the announcement of our uh, five thousand uh, dollar travel voucher um, with Ovation Travel to uh, anywhere around the world so uh, which was won by Gwenda Murphy whose horse ran second in the in one of the group one races tonight so so that was that was a great result for her as well so um, yeah it was good and thankfully now that the COVID restrictions have been eased she can use that price <laughs> that's exactly right well I was overseas I was over I had to spend an extra week in uh, in Scotland because I, I got COVID myself. So we, we just we had we couldn't we couldn't uh, leave the country. So uh, no, it was good. Were well, you supposed to wear something under those kilts? That's probably why you got cold. Well, mate, I won't go. I won't. I won't answer that question. <laughs> now, listen, Daniel. There was also a very special award announced tonight at this pre at the presentation, and thoroughly deserved. Yes, uh, our committee had a long and hard talk about it a few months ago about nominating someone for uh, the Life Life Membership Award and uh, couldn't have gone to a better person in Tanya Harris. Um, she she was most humble um, tonight in her um, acceptance and uh, she you know it was it was just a great great pleasure to, to uh, hand her the um, the Life Membership Award. I know you're just back in the country, as you mentioned, only a few weeks. You must be getting a lot of good uh, feedback concerning the announcement of the Eureka as far as the club is concerned, you being a director, but also amongst the owners. Yeah, well, look, we are getting feedback, some good, some some not so good. Uh, I can't, you know, uh, I think it's a great... I think it's a great concept. Uh, I mooted a, a similar race probably about three or four years ago, not long after the Everest, uh, to, do, to, uh, to do the same same sort of thing. It, it, back then it probably fell on deaf ears. Um, but 
there, there is there is one concern that that does concern the the industry, uh, but they have to work. They'll have to work around that. Well, it's only hopefully upwards and onwards from this particular. We've got to start moving somewhere, and it's it's time to start. Well, look, I, I think it's I think it's going to be great for the industry uh, having a race like this, and uh, you know I think it, it can only get bigger and better. Never harmful to be taking good ideas of other people. No, it's not. It's not. I think uh, I think Peter Volandis and his team with the Everest done a done a wonderful job, and and look at the success of it now. New Zealand had theirs a couple of weeks ago, which which was quite good, uh, I believe. And now, hopefully, with the Eureka, I think uh, one would hope it will be, if, if not better. I'll give you a little bit of information, Dan. You can use this as you like. But the Everest was named after a gentleman by the name of George Everest, but he pronounced his name George Everest. Well, good luck to him. <laughs> so I don't, I don't. I've never heard of that story. Uh, the only thing I know is that uh, Edmund Hillary climbed Everest. And uh, they asked him why did he do it, because it was there. And that's the only reason why, what I know about Everest. Well, Daniel, you've been a font of knowledge. <laughs> nice to have you back. Okay, thank you, Mel.